Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Well, as you can tell by the title and uh, what you're seeing here, we're not in North Dakota right now. Uh, we are in Nebraska. This is the new uh, St. Edwards, Nebraska map by Antler22 Modding. Um, I just got a save game set up on here. I haven't actually done any farming yet. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take a walk around everything uh, on this save game. So this is going to be a lot different of a setup than uh, what we're running in North Dakota. So first off, we got two uh, 22 Ford F-350s. Uh, one single wheel, one dually. Uh, we got those sitting at the house. We got a few sets of uh, poly tanks. So the black tanks are, and I see that one's hovering. I got to fix that. Uh, it's not perfect yet. It was kind of a quick setup deal. But uh, the light kind of turquoise color, that's liquid fertilizer. These black ones are herbicide we got our road fuel tank for the pickups and semis farm fuel def fluid we got two thunder creek uh trailer fuel trailers um with def and then this is one of two meridian 990 fuel trailers um we've got a array of trailers here so we got two uh timpty 42 foot tandem trailers uh, these are by OS modding and mapping and then we've got uh, two I think I think these are the triple X yep uh, we got two triple X uh, Wilson hopper trailers and then we have two Timpty uh, conveyor trailers for loading the spreaders uh, over here we've got two of the Demco uh, liquid tender trailers. So these are for our fertilizer. And then we've got two um, of, well, two more Demco trailers uh, set up for spray. Uh, these are North Dakota modding and mappings trailers. And then in the lean to here, we've got two RBR Vector 430. Uh, spreaders with the case boxes and then we've got a few more pickups we got two more uh, newer Fords we got a 2020 um, GMC Denali and a 2018 GMC Denali uh, both duallys um, we're gonna walk around everything outside first so here we have what are these again uh, where is ha uh, two John Deere 526 field cultivators and we've got two DB uh, 120 48 row corn planters and then we've got two of the Demco uh, side dress bars Two of the Brent uh, 2096 grain carts on the equalizer tracks. Two of the Ebby uh, generation hopper trailers. And then we've got two Degelman. Uh, I think these are, what are they? L. Yeah, it's the Degelman 8000 land rollers. Then we've got two N560 uh, 60 foot air seeders with carts. <clears throat> then, if we take a walk inside the building, we got a bunch of machinery packed inside here. Uh, so we've got six Kenworth T800s. Uh, these are the uh, conveyor trailer and liquid tender trailer trucks and then we have six peat 379s uh, these are for all of our hopper trailers uh, let's 
wiggle our way back here. We've got two John Deere 9RX 640s for grain cart. Um, and then we've got two John Deere X9 1100s. And in the back here, we've got two, if I can get through here. Yes, no, maybe so. What combine did I just get in? Okay. Um, then we've got two John Deere S7 900s as well. Like I said, definitely a much, much different uh, operation here than uh, North Dakota. And then if we walk into the Quonset here, uh, we've got two John Deere R4045 sprayers with 120 foot booms. We've got two John Deere 8RT 310s. Uh, these are for our uh, side dressers. And then we'll walk down here to our last building. And this is where all the rest of our tractors are. So we've got two John Deere 7R350s. Um, fully dueled up. These are for the land rollers. For the air seeders, we've got two John Deere 9620Rs. Uh, tillage tractors are two 9RX 490s. And for our planters, are two 8RT 410s. So we got uh, quite the big time operation going on up here. So now we'll jump on into the pickup here and uh, we're going to take a little drive. So we got uh, one other farm location and we have one building uh, just up here to the north. So we're going to run up here to our other building for the uh, crop farm and we'll run up and take a look at what we have inside there quick. So we got this large building down here, and uh, if we run on inside here, so in here are all of our headers. We've got four of the HD50F uh, drapers, and then we have four 716C corn heads. Figure this was a good place to kind of put them because you can pull in uh, both sides so then it uh, allows us to pull in these header trailers and not have to back them up. So we'll head up to our other farm uh, yard and then from there we'll go up to our bin site. So the other farm is just to the south of our main uh, crop farm here. Um, we do have quite a bit of land as well. We got uh, a huge amount of land actually. So we'll take a look at that as well uh, in just a moment. Really, really enjoying this map so far. Uh, just from the little I've kind of looked around it and setting everything up. Uh, very, very well done map. Uh, Antler22 has been posting about it for quite a while. Uh, he's had it in the works for some time now. And uh, it's been a highly anticipated map and it's awesome to see it uh, out for public uh, use. So here is our second yard. Uh, this is our big feedlot. Um, don't have any cows here yet. Like I said, I haven't actually done any playing on the map yet. It's all just been set up. So We'll uh, pull up right here and 
we'll take a walk around. So we got a pressure washer here. Uh, ours for the main farm has not been delivered yet. So we're waiting on that, but that'll go next to our big machine shed. Uh, we got a def tank, farm fuel tanks, and road fuel tanks. And uh, we'll take a walk on in the door here. So starting off, we got two Challenger SP-18 or 185C uh, swathers with the haybine heads on them at the moment. Um, pretty much all of the tractors down here at the feedlot are 6Rs. So everything, especially on the hay side, is all 6R John Deere's with 643R loaders. Uh, these first two here, we have dual bale spikes on as well as dual wheels and uh, these are pulling New Holland BB 340s uh, the next two just have two oh boy we're stuck uh, come on now okay how can I get out of here now kinda got myself uh, Lodged in a corner here. Um, so these two we have just regular uh, normal dirt buckets on. And these are pulling two Anderson Stack Pro um, wagons for loading the square bales. We got two more with the grapple fork buckets pulling oxbow mergers. Um, if we run up in here we got another... Uh, 6250R, two of them, with Haybuster H1130 uh, grinders for grinding up our hay. Up here in the front, we have four more uh, 6R John Deere's. Like I said, folks, it's pretty much all 6R's around here. Uh -huh. Two of them are hooked to Vermeer bale processors, as you guys saw. And then these other two here are hooked up to Supreme 1200T uh, feed mixers. We got two 644K uh, John Deere payloaders with grapple buckets on them. We have two Pete 379s hooked up to um, Wilson cattle pots. And then we've got four T800 or yeah, T800s I think these are uh, with silage trailers on them we got those all packed in here all nice and tight this building is definitely packed to the nuts um, and then we got two Kloss 980 Jaguars with the Kloss 300 pickup heads for chopping uh, hay or anything like that uh, or even if we want to try and chop straw uh, then we got two John Deere 9900i choppers with our corn heads on them. And if we finagle our way out of the building here. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to close the walkthrough door. There we go. Okay, then over here uh, for swathing our wheat uh, or oats, whatever we decide to plant. So that way we can just make straw out of it. Uh, we have two Challenger 5200 swather heads. Over here we have a New Holland 9482 with triples. This is our packing tractor. We got two more 6Rs with loaders. Uh, these two have MDS snow pusher buckets and uh, Pranavost snowblowers. Uh, if you notice, we didn't have a snowblower um, back at the main farm, and that is because we will just take uh, both of these, we'll clear out one yard, take them to the other, clear that out, and then bring them back. Up here on the hill, we have two John Deere 7R 310s, fully dueled, pulling uh, Stroutman manure spreaders as we are going to have plenty of manure from all of these cattle pens uh, we got a couple of bale storage buildings here um, 
Really, the only thing I added was the building and the fuel tanks to this yard. Otherwise, everything else was already here. So, that is our feedlot. We'll take a little bit of a drive on up through some of the pens. So you can see we have room for many, many, many cows. Uh, and I do plan on actually using every one of these pens. Um, oh, wrong button. If you guys see here, we do have quite the complex uh, loading, shoot, sorting pen system up here. And uh, if you go and you watch, um, Antler made a video on how all of this works. And it's actually quite impressive how he has it set up. Um, you Everything gets dumped or unloaded, I should say, at the chute up there. And then you come down here and you have to open all the gates. Whoops. It is on this side here. You open the gate, and once the gate opens, a do do do. Let's see here. I think I have to close this one. No. But as you open the gates to the different pens, uh, let's try another pen here once. As you open the gates, the animal dialogue will come up, and when you back in, you line up, and then you go open the gate to whichever pen you want, and then you can unload through here, and it'll go into that pen. So it's quite, quite a very well put together system. Um, we got the little vet shack here as well. And then if we head back here, um, this is just one route to get back to it. We'll, uh, whoop, we're driving through all the trees. We'll take a drive back here. Uh, we're probably going to put alfalfa right here in these fields. Uh, we're going to need a lot of alfalfa ground. So back here we have some more area for bale storage. And up here we have our... Uh, GSI silo complex so we have plenty of room for uh, lots of crop and I see our unload is right here that's interesting I'm not a hundred percent decided on this uh, bin site I might end up switching this one out for something a little different but at the moment, this is our current bin site. So, like I said, though, I might swap this out for a different setup. Uh, I might put in one that is set up for Thunder FS's uh, um, state controller script, I think is what it's called, um, to where we can have the option of putting into our wet bins and things like that so mainly going to be a corn and soybeans operation we are going to put in like i said wheat or oats or something uh, or even barley to swath and get straw bales for our cattle um, but uh, otherwise it'll be corn and soybeans for the crop farm and then corn and alfalfa for our uh, feedlot. So, yeah, just a little look around. Thought I'd show you guys that and uh, have something to get out to you guys. So, thanks for watching, folks, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Hope you enjoyed.